okay and uh, just pre uh, press create and then close okay and then now if we click on that point we can see it there and it's pretty much lined up with that wall correctly um, so as well as a reference point on the side wall we need another one uh, because here from Wikipedia the is the equation for the uh, pressure coefficient so we need the um, the P infinity so that's the sidewall pressure we just took uh, P will be the sort of variable that changes throughout the domain just the pressure at any location and uh, P0 is the stagnation pressure so that's um, the pressure at a stagnation point uh, so to get the stagnation pressure we will take uh, another point at the front of the truck right here if I plot pressure I can show you here you can see the pr it's a stagnation point here at the front so um, we'll take the pressure from there for our stagnation pressure so again we'll make another derived part and again select the our Cartesian 1 coordinate system so this this point needs to be just slightly above that uh, reference point so I'll choose a Z distance of 0 0.1 meters around there and that should give us the um, pressure at that point and create and then I'll just rename these two I'll call this one P infinity P inf and this one P stag okay so that's our two probe locations but how do we actually measure the pressure at those locations so to do that we need to make a report so I'll press new report and then uh, sum okay and then you want to uh, first let's rename that as P P inf report and then we'll choose uh, the pressure there like so and we'll choose the part uh, which is the derived part we made P inf okay and um, and that should be good so now I can right click that and press run report and you see it's given us the pressure there so I'll make another one and I'm choosing sum uh, because it's only represents one value so the particular um, point probe only has one value so the sum will also give us the value at that point so first I'll rename this as um, P stag rep P stagnation report and then again I'll choose pressure okay and I'll choose the stagnation point as the derived part and then now I when, when I run that and scroll down on the my output you can see it's got a much higher pressure there so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, make a note of these two quantities the, um, the infinity pressure and the stagnation pressure um, and then now we'll go on to now we'll go on to um, uh, make a field function out of this to actually calculate our pressure coefficient so to do that we press field function new and then it's a scalar because it doesn't have a direction first I'll rename this as pressure coefficient like that and I'll also rename the function and then here in the definition uh, I'm just going to implement the um, the equation that we saw earlier uh, which is this it which is here okay so it's um, let's just put it here so it's just uh, okay wait I need to See you in the next video. I'm running out of time.